So there isn't time for me to make a video on every example in the textbook. I'm usually keeping this to one video per subsection, which I think is reasonable. But let's quickly do the two examples from the textbook in this subsection. So in the first example, we're given a point on the unit circle, and we're not told what this angle is. But given this point on the unit circle, we can find all six of the trig functions of this unknown angle. So this is the x coordinate, and this is the y coordinate and the cosine of this angle is the x-coordinate, and the sine of this angle is the y-coordinate, and then we just plug and play with these. The, so the tangent is the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate. We should simplify this a little. I don't really care about getting square roots into, num into numerators, but at the very least, we should note that this two and this two cancels and gives us negative one over the square root of three. Um, since we have found the tangent, maybe the cotangent is the next thing to find. The cotangent, we could think of it as x over y, but we could also think of it as 1 over the tangent or negative the square root of three. And then the secant is one over the cosine. Let's see. So one over negative, the square root of three over two. Again, I think it's possible to be a little unnecessarily picky about simplification, but we should certainly simplify this a little. It's negative two over the square root of three. And the cosecant of theta Again, I know I'm going a little fast, but I'm just plugging and playing with these four statements. The cosecant is one over the sine. The sine is one half. One over one half is two. Example two is getting at the same ideas, the same concepts. In a, example two, you're given the angle and you're asked to find the trig functions of the angle. And example two is based on the assumption that you have memorized the sine and the cosine of pi over six, which you were asked to do. And once you know the cosine and the sine, the secant 
is one over the cosine. And the cosecant is one over the sine and the tangent is the sine over the cosine. So one half over the square root of three over two is one over the square root of three. And the cotangent, we could either think of the cotangent as the cosine over the sine, or we could think of it as one over the tangent. Those are the same thing. Let's think of it as one over the tangent because we've already found the tangent. And there are the cosine, sine, secant, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent of, the, of pi divided by six. The textbook gives you a table for pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. Also for 0 and pi over 2. Or using uh, degrees, 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. Under no circumstances should you try to memorize this table. If you need something other than the cosine or sine, you should wrong share. If you need something other than the cosine or the sine, which you're supposed to have committed to memory, you should just calculate whatever trig function we you need, like we did in this example.